the early start here. Runners are set now, and uh, they're racing. A little bit awkward out was Modern Verse in the green jacket, but they've got a mile and a half ahead of them here for the best racing odds guaranteed at MGM Handicap, and it's a Class 6 event. Katina and Callum Shepherd in the red jacket coming through to lead them past the empty grandstands today by the connections of the horses running, of course, with Bradman moving up into second, the odds-on favourite. Trey Sheik on the rail in the beige and black stars. Northgate follows. And then the black uh, jacket on the inside, Ellie Mae Crouton rising, Roisha, and uh, she's tracked uh, then by the pale jacket of Rubio de Oro and Benoit de la Sayette. And Modern Verse and Tom Marcant is at the back of the field in the green jacket as they move down towards the back straight with about seven or eight lengths covering the whole field. Katina, one of several in this race, uh, upping herself in trip today. She's up to a mile and a half. Callum Shepard taking them down the back straight then and leading by about uh, a length or so. Bradman racing in second, the hot favourite, son of Australia, of course he is. And then back in third on the inside is Trey Sheep. Northgate follows in the gold check colours, the Britain colours. Rising Roisha, who unseated Ellie May on the way down to the start, but she's bravely taken up the, the mount here. It's just ahead then of Rubio del Oro. And at the rear of the field still is... Modern verse, the runners moving down towards the point where they're about to turn out of the back straight. And they've got about just over half a mile or so uh, left to cover here. Katina, Bradman with Trey Sheik just to shaken up briefly on the inside. Northgate covering the moves. And then comes Rising Roisha and Rubio de Oro. All travelling pretty well, to be honest. Although Tom just getting a bit lower in the saddle on modern verse then. As they move down now towards the entrance uh, to the home straight here in the opening contest. Katina still cutting it out. Bradman poised to strike on the outside then as they turn in. Two and a half furlongs left to cover now. Bradman now draws alongside and goes on from Katina. Down the centre of the course, white jacket Bradman and Ross Orion from Katina. Northgate trying to battle on. Behind them, Rubio de Oro next. The others are well out of it. A furlong and a half left to go here and Bradman is out on his own, drawing further and further clear. He's up by about seven or eight now as he approaches the closing stages. Bradman just drifting a, a towards the far side slightly, but this is w he's way too good for them. And Bradman comes home to score in great style. He swept them for six there, didn't he? Back in second was Northgate, then back in third, Rubio de Oro, and Katina, the front runner, faded for fourth.